Hey guys, and welcome to the Legacy Crusaders blog channel. This is Benji, and today I am recording a duel between two of my local competitors, Emmanuel and Jamel. Uh, Emmanuel always plays Blue Eyes. Uh, people have seen his uh, Blue Eyes combo Guard Dragon deck, but he started playing Dangers in his build, and a lot of people were actually really excited for his deck because it didn't have Dangers in it originally. He's playing against Jamel, who's playing Sky Strikers. Uh, now, Jamel did open with one hand trap. It is Ash Blossom, and he's Ashing. Melody the Awakening Dragon, uh, but um, Emmanuel managed to discard a Danger Jackalobe in order to get the summon of a Danger Monster from his deck. He's going to summon Ogopogo. He was unable to add Blue Eyes an alternative, which would have also been a level 8 monster. And he normal summons Beast King Barbaros, which is a neat little tech. It gives him the ability to just normal summon a level 8 monster, which he didn't really have before. Uh, they're having a little conversation about how the other day um, at the YCS... Or they were like playtesting, and Emmanuel attempted to tribute summon the Barbaros for three monsters. Uh, he overlays for Galaxy Eye Cypher Dragon, and he can just make Dark Matter, and Dark Matter sends to the graveyard as cost three dragon monsters to force your opponent to banish three monsters in their deck. Now, the three dragon monsters he has to send to the graveyard are have to be different. He's going to send, um, usually it's the two guard dragons, so he's sending the orange guard dragon. I'm actually not familiar with the name of that card. And he's also sending the White Stone of Legend, and usually they send the Blue Guard Dragon, which is, uh... I'll just pull up their names while I'm, uh, waiting for him to complete this part of the combo. I have YGO Pro open, um, on a separate screen. So, Garmides and Prominence, uh, Prominences. So, he sent... So he gets to add to his hand, uh, a Blue Eyes White Dragon from the White Stone of Legends, I think he sent. Uh, which gives him another card in hand. Um, and Jamel is actually emptying his deck of all the hand traps, because they're all going to be kind of dead after this turn anyway. So he's adding Blue Eyes White Dragon to his hand. Uh, I haven't seen his hand in a bit to remember what's in it, but that could be relevant. So he adds back Gramides by sending the Blue Eyes White Dragon, which will special the Gramides, and it will also special the Prominences. He has a... Return of the Dragon Lords, allowing him to make a Link 2, using the Dark Matter and Blue Eyes White Dragon to make Land Flinkus, allowing him to use both Guard Dragons to make both uh, Pisty and LP. So he's got the left and right dragon, the white and black dragon, of the two Guard Dragons, summoning his Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon as uh, from his deck, because the two Guard Dragons both point to the same card. So Red MD is going to come out. Most likely, he'll be using Red MD to add back the White Stone of Legend to the field, allowing him to research another Blue Eyes White Dragon, giving him free cards off of his uh, Saryuja. Camera's a little jumpy. It seems to have like an autofocus. I need to turn that off. It's partially why this isn't going up on the main channel. Uh, that the autofocus keeps bouncing things around because someone's hand becomes the focus of the shot. Oh, so he's going to use Red MD actually to summon back the Cypher Dragon. I wasn't fully familiar with how the combo went. Uh, he's going to link the uh, Land Falinkus and the uh, Red MD into the Triburst Dragon. He uses Red MD to bring back Cypher Dragon, um, which he brought back with the LP. LP brings back Red MD, which brings back White Stone of Legends again. And the second Dark Matter is made on top of the Cypher, which was revived, sending uh, White Stone of Legend, uh, White Stone of Ancients. A Morphage Goliath and Arc Brave Dragon to the graveyard, meaning he'll be able to summon from his graveyard on the following turn the Morphage Goliath, so that uh, Jamel will not be able to special summon from the extra deck. And in a Sky Striker deck, if you can't summon from the extra deck, you can't play monsters at all because you can't use any of your cards while you have cards in the main monster zone, so it's pretty uh, broken lockdown. Uh, Jamel continues to remove all of the hand traps from his deck. He does play like 15 hand traps, it's a lot in a Sky Striker deck because you can play off of so few spells. Uh, he has on field four dragons. Uh, I think he's just going to go to Agar Pain using the Twin Burst and the Red MD, allowing him to summon Hot Red Dragon Archfiend Abyss. And then he will link these four into Saryuja, um, giving him the ability to draw into four cards and put three back in his deck. So he's drawing into a lot of mediocre cards at this point in the game. Uh, at some point, he usually likes to keep his White Stone of Legend on the field and then try to special a level 7 danger, like uh, Nessie, because then he can synchro summon uh, Borload Savage Dragon, so he can have a negate for anything to go along with his Hot Red Abyss and his uh, Goliath. 
So he's already normal summon, so the Barbaros has no real use. The extra blue eyes by dragon is really meant to be put back anyway. And he puts back the Destrudo. Now because Saryuja can actually special summon a monster from his hand, he actually has two summons with those two blue eyes. So he's going to summon the alternative using its actual summoning mechanic. Then he's going to summon the uh, blue eyes by dragon using the Saryuja. And he could have made a rank 8, uh, but he's going to go into uh, blue eyes spirit dragon, giving him the ability to negate one card in the graveyard and preventing his opponent from summoning more than one monster at the same time. Now he should know what uh, Jamel is playing, but he doesn't seem to be playing in that manner, or he might have went for like a Hope Harbinger. Although, he should be pretty safe having uh, a negate for the grave, a negate on the field, and the Amorphage Goliath protecting him from the extra deck being negated. Now, as far as I remember, Jamel drew into his last Ash Blossom. He didn't banish from his deck for turn, meaning he doesn't didn't draw too many cards. He has four spells and a Ash Blossom. I think he has Foolish Burial Goods. Um, I'm trying to remember what else. Preferably, he would have drawn something like his Shark Cannon, so he could have banished the Goliath from Grave, or at least attempted to. I think he has Afterburners in hand. So Afterburners, Ash Blossom, Foolish Burial Goods. I think that's goods. It's hard to see. It's not the best angle for me. It's much better for seeing one person play out their combos. Hey, there I am. I'm circling winners. Foolish Good sends Metal Foes Fusion to the graveyard. He's going to attempt to draw a card. Maybe draw into a card that can out this board. Maybe if he draws into enough Widow Anchors with enough spells in the graveyard, he'll be able to do something. So they... They made a joke, he's like, oh, I think I know what you're playing, and I said, sure, he's playing Metal Foes, obviously. Why else would you play Metal Foes Fusion? So, Blue Eyes White Dragon is in hand, and a Twin Twister is set, so he has the ability to destroy back row. Oh, he has uh, Area Zero, so he could use Area Zero to try and dig for a card he might need, but he has to set something first. He's going to attempt to activate Metal Foes Fusion, and we're having a brief discussion... Uh, he's trying to negate it with Blue Eyes Spirit Dragon because it does activate effect in the graveyard. He's trying to figure out if he gets shuffled back into the deck or not. Of course, he's playing a Metal Foes Fusion in another language, so I'm not sure why we're reading it. Um, so the question is, is it a cost to shuffle back? And I don't know 100%, but I'm fairly certain it's not a cost to shuffle this card back. It is once per turn, so negating it isn't like a worthless play, but it does keep a spell in graveyard. Also that... uh. Blue Eyes Spirit Dragon doesn't have a lot of value otherwise. I mean, he could negate Area Zero from the graveyard, but Area Zero isn't really a problem, because Area Zero going to the graveyard means he summons Blue Eyes White Dragon. Not Blue Eyes White Dragon. Sky Striker Ace Ray from deck, and Ray being on board doesn't really do anything, because he can't go into the extra deck because of a Morphage Goliath. So he has to actually find a way to negate Goliath and get into the extra deck, assuming he needs extra deck cards. Uh, he activates Twin Twister, discarding his dead Ash Blossom to target the set Twin Twister. Also targeting his own Area Zero, allowing him to potentially summon Ray from the deck. Uh, Manuel is unfazed, as he knows he can't go into any of his Sky Striker cards, and he is fully aware that he can't use any Sky Striker hand effects either, whether it be spells, he can't go into the extra deck. So it's essentially a pretty useless uh, board. So yeah, it's a pretty solid uh, build, so some pretty cool cards made into Manny's deck. A bunch of Ogapogos. I think he's even playing the uh, Dangerous Spell card, the one that lets you um, discard one to uh, put it on the bottom of the deck and draw a card. So that's pretty solid. It works when you wind up bricking on too many Dash Tracker cards. Now I did record Game 2. I'm not going to be posting Game 2, because uh, it kind of got disrupted so we could play out our top 4 matches. Uh, I didn't get to play uh, Emmanuel in top 4, because I wound up losing... Um, in top four to Ray, which I'll post that game here as well. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.